Okay, I need to build a really quick application that just uh, takes an image and converts it to PDF. So this is where I'm going to start. It's going to be totally automated. All it's going to do is that. I always start with this fast doc admin. Uh, run that. Uh, you have to log into one application or another. Sorry if it's noisy in the background. I'm in a coffee shop. But admin admin is the uh, default password. I'm going to hit this wizard right here, create a new application, say yes, create a new RRS application. It doesn't really what I'm going to call it. Uh, make PDF. So I'm just going to call it Make PDF Form Template Find. I'm going to have every document be the same type and simply go through and turn it into a uh, text searchable PDF. I say close. Now I'm going to open that application, choose um, Make PDF. Call it admin. There that is. And uh, I'm just going to go add to the export step this capability of creating a TIFF or a PDF. And that's all I really needed right now. I'm going to make sure that this is, uh, I click on it, say save, make sure this chooses create PDF. By default, it creates a, um, a uh, multi page TIFF. I'm going to choose PDF as the output. And I'm going to use the, use the original image so we don't have any uh, image enhancement. But I don't actually need image enhancement to happen. Um, let's see, where'd that go? So I can probably just turn that off. Image enhancement can be turned off. Identify pages. We're going to go through and do that. Uh, where I'm going to choose it as, I don't really care what it is. Um, just the last page type. I'm just going to say, identify the first page. Oh, I need a page type. So let's make a page type. Called, uh, let's use add a document and I'll call it uh, make PDF. Make PDF doc and enable stuff from um, document. I say add. I'm going to add a page here called uh, make PDF page. And I'm going to enable the rule sets on that from page. I say done. No fields, no nothing. Now I've got my page type. Let's go back to that identify pages here and choose that uh, my first document type is going to be probably have to close that and open it since I created new ones I'm going to reload this application didn't show up on my list maybe if I choose a different one and then come back to it it'll probably reload it so identify pages see if it has my page types here it doesn't I'm going to exit out of this reload it save it oh because it wasn't saved I'll probably save it and um, then is it here? No. I'll just quit out of it and open it back up. Um, admin. Admin. Say OK. Now I'm going to go to my rule sets for identify pages. My last page type, and I'm going to choose my first page type is a make PDF page. I have had trouble with this in the um, in the past. And mappings are so if in case a multi-page comes in, oh, I need a secondary page type. I'm going to add a page type called uh, make make PDF trailing. Um, let's see, there's make PDF trailing. So I've got two page types, and when I go to my unidentified pages, I'll probably have to log out and log out again, which would be annoying. But uh, when I go to my make PDF page types, uh, yeah, it's not trailing there. So it's one of the annoyances. I'll save it and exit out of it, reload it. Admin, admin. Uh, let's see, go back over to my uh, rule sets for identifying pages and the last page type make PDF as a first page type and I'll just say mappings if I have to page type other I'm gonna make it a um, if my last page type was other I'm gonna make this a main page I'm gonna add a mapping that says if my last page type was uh, PDF I'm gonna make it a trailing page this window could be smaller. And then um, let's see, I'm going to have warmer mapping that says 
if it was trailing, I'm going to make it um, a, another trailing page. I'm going to say save. And now um, I should be able to run that and have images come through. Okay, so those are there. I'm going to get my image in one of these folders here. I'll just go and choose this invoice image. It's good enough. I'll say copy. I'm going to put that into my application directory, wherever that was. Remember when we, oh, it opened up this file folder, images. And I'm going to use multi-format because it'll do both TIFF and, uh, and it'll convert anything out. It just gives me an, one extra conversion. Uh, step. So there that is there. Um, that's all I've got to do. Oh, I want to turn off the... Um, so I got to make PDF work and I want to turn off the uh, verify. So I have to I do that from DataCap Studio, which is right here. Choose my app here, make PDF. Say admin. Go and choose this routing rule set. I'm going to lock that rule set. I'm going to open it up and I don't want anything to be split into verify so I am going to just disable this rule say save um, publish rule set and I'm going to run a test now I like to test from data cap studio it makes it easier I mean some people don't like it some people do I'm going to choose this multi-format job hopefully it picks up that file that we put in there choose multi-format here click play and off I go there, it got the file. I'll say advance. I'll put page ID. It did it in Omic PDF. Pretty fast rule. It's going to, oh, I didn't turn on OCR. It doesn't matter that I turn on OCR because I didn't do anything else. The OCR is going to happen at the end. And there's my export. And that's my last step. I'm going to go pause it, uh, get this file out, make sure the PF, PDF got created. There is wrong folder. I can go back to this one we were using. And go back in this one to make PDF in batches. There's my batch, and there is the PDF. I can open it and make sure, sure it is text searchable. Sure enough, it is. Got all the values in there. And now my file's there. I'm going to try to call this with a web service later. So um, I don't really need to do anything else with it because I'm going to get into this batch directory and get this file out. Um, the next step is I need to turn on Rule Runner, which is fairly simple. Um, I go to Rule Runner here. Oh, I want to do one thing, one last thing. Um, because the import files all will not copy those files. Um, the set copy folder is the same thing here. So I need to um, change that so it's something else. And I'm going to change it to... Did I lock that? Yeah, I'm going to change it to add a... Um, done. There it is. So I've added that on the end. Hopefully that... We'll put it in a done folder, and I'm going to make one more folder here in that input directory. Go back to that uh, multi-format. I'm going to make a folder here called done, new folder, D-O-N-E. Now, the next time I run that, it should copy the files into there, and I run test. And I'll just test this one more time. Scroll down, click new. Oh, I've got to cancel this batch or move it on. I'll advance it so it doesn't... So it's still there. Um, I'll say new. I choose that multi-format again. Click play. And once it's done running, I click advance. It did not pick up the file. Why not? So it didn't pick up the file. Okay, I looked in the um, in the batches folder in the log, and it has here, um, it's got a bunch of spaces in the copy to file here. So I've got to go fix that. That's the problem. Um, I think I just take out the spaces and I can just put it in plus signs. Where is that? So here's Data Cap Studio. I've got to go back here. And what's nice is I can, well, I'll rerun a new one. But I think that's the problem. If I go through and change this to, I don't need the double quotes. There, I put the spaces in as well. Plus, I can get rid of those quotes. There, I think that'll be better. I'll save that, publish that rule set, and you come over to test and do it one more time. Into this multi-format, new, I choose multi-format test, and there it goes. Okay, there it's got the file. I will advance it and go check that folder. 
and the folder should have be missing that image. There it is, it's gone, and it moved it to the done folder. So now I'm done with that. Now I can turn on my uh, rule runner. I'm going to um, re-log into it because I've changed the application. I'm going to go and look at what all all my um, all my tasks are. I'm going to turn off all those, create a new thread, thread, add a thread, and uh, go and find my make PDF here. Uh, go and choose those um, multi-format vscan profile or, and export, and I click save. Uh, it says it's still running. Um, just for good measure, I'm going to stop and start it. You don't have to. It'll probably work, but just because I'm trying to record this, I'll get that done, and uh, and then I'll I'll copy the file there, and it should disappear and appear in a new batch. Okay, it stopped. I'll push start, and there it is. It's starting up. I'll go and grab that file from the done folder. I'll say um, copy, and um, I'll paste it here and it should disappear here as Roll Runner picks it up and starts to process it. Okay, there's one more thing I might have to look at if that doesn't work, and that is this application manager. This is kind of an annoyance of mine. Um, the application manager for Make PDF um, in Roll Runner for vScan, it should say scan from disk multi, which is right, which is that what we called it in the Roll Runner tab. Let's see what it has here. Oh, I didn't move my thread stuff over there, so I'm going to copy it over there. There it is. That's why it didn't work. Now when I push save, it says it'll start up. I'm watching this file here, and it should disappear now that I have stuff running under that thread. Oh, vscan multi, that might be the issue. That's what I was saying. I think there needs to be a... V yeah, so you need to add a new one. This either needs to be called vscan multi... I'm going to copy that. This season needs to be called vScan Multi, or it needs to be, um, or, or just create a new one. So I'm going to add a new one, and I'm going to call it vScan M-U-L-T-I. So what will happen is you'll see tons of batches get created over and over again. I'm going to get about that task, which is a task that comes from, um, uh, from DataCap Studio. I'm going to save those changes. I'm going to stop this thread say stop. So I bet you there's tons and tons of batches that got created. We can go look in that batch folder, but um, that's typically what'll happen. You'll see it spinning its wheels, but it didn't, but uh, sometimes it'll just spin its wheels. It'll air out over and over and over again. And start it one more time. Go back to that. Uh, there, that file is gone. It got moved into the done folder, and now we should have a new batch that was created here uh, called, yep, uh, 380, see, 380, see how it went way up in numbers there because it had a bunch of them. And there's our PDF, so it automatically got created. So that's how we go about creating a simple application. Uh, simple, but uh, just to do PDF conversion. And now I've got it running, I can call it from my web service, and I'm going to go build something that uh, goes and gets this file up from that web service. That's a different, uh, different, different video if I record it.